Hello, in this video we're going to share some tips on how to build this dresser. But before we get started, a couple things to keep in mind. Make sure to have a Phillips head screwdriver and an optional flat head screwdriver. A second person can be helpful while putting this together and just make sure everything's facing the right way when you're putting it together and you'll do great. So let's get into it. Just a quick disclaimer, these tips don't cover every step, so make sure you follow the instructions and complete all the steps in order. In this part, we'll cover steps 9 through 11, and for these steps, we need the anti-tip snappers and the plastic linkage pieces, the screws for those, and then the rails for later. So we'll get into it with the anti-tip snappers, and for this, you just need to make sure that you put these little plastic pieces on the inside peg like this, and then those go in place on the pegs on the rail inside. And we'll do the same thing on this one. It goes on the inside and then like this. And then we'll attach those with the screws. All right, once those screws are in place, we need to secure these plastic pieces. And when you're doing this, you just wanna make sure that the plastic pieces are facing straight like this before we put in the little screws. And then once they are, you can put in these little silver screws into the little metal piece in here. Tighten that completely. And then we can double check that the mechanism is working by flipping one of the sides. And if we can't do any of the other wings, then we should be good. You can try the other end and we're good to go there. So we'll move on to step 11 with the rails. And for these, you just wanna make sure that you put the rails in so that the edge is flush on here. There are holes that you could put it like this, but you don't wanna put it like that. It needs to be flush against the top like this. So we'll go ahead and put these screws in. And then for the second hole, you have to slide the rail out and put it in here. Then do the other rails and we should be good to go. In steps 42 through 47, we'll be putting in the drawers. And the main thing you need to watch out for is that these drawers that have the plastic on the bottom, these two drawers need to go in the top two spots. And you wanna make sure that the plastic pieces are on the same side as these mechanisms inside. And when you're putting in the drawers, you need to make sure to pull these levers forward when you put in the drawer. So we'll go ahead and put this one in. Line up the rails on both sides. Make sure they're both aligned properly. And then just push the drawer in. It should lock into the rails. All right, once that's all the way in, we can make sure it's latched in place. And we can move on to the other side with this plastic piece on the outside edge. And just make sure you pull this lever forward. And then line up the rails and then push it all the way in. And there we go. It's all latched in place and we can put the rest of them in and then we're done. All right, we're all done. We hope this video was helpful for you and for more tips, tricks, and guides, go to walkeredison.com.